Hi guys, I'm Daniel and today I'm gonna do something crazy. I have a bucket list and most of the items are connected to traveling. One of my dream is to pack my stuff, go to the airport and take the first flight wherever it takes me. Sadly, I cannot afford to be that spontaneous. But this weekend is going to be four days long due to a bank holiday and I have an idea. Now I am about to book a flight ticket and leave tomorrow wherever the ticket is the cheapest. There is only one rule. To make this trip more exciting, I'm going to go to a city or a country where I have never been before. So let's start from Budapest to Azerbaijan. One eternity later. Okay, I just checked all of the destinations and Stockholm is the winner. Let's book my flight. It is done. I'm going to Stockholm tomorrow. What do I know about Sweden? First of all, it's a kingdom. They're part of the European Union, but they do not have Euro, which is gonna be tough because I do not have time to change any currency. Swedish design like IKEA or H&M, meatballs and Abba. So I'm at the airport. Uh, I will be honest, I'm a little bit scared, but also excited. First of all, I'm the only one wearing a winter coat. And second of all, um, I have nothing planned. I have no idea how I get to the city center from the airport. So I just landed in uh, Skavska airport and now I'm heading to the bus station so I could go to Stockholm. The generator hostel was not far from the central bus terminal. It was a little bit strange to me at first because it is a combination of a hostel and a beauty hotel. It also has quite cheap shared rooms for backpackers like me. But if you are a little bit fancier, you can book a penthouse too. Next morning, while I was having some breakfast at the hostels or hotels bar, I planned my first day in Sweden. Sadly, the weather was not so good, so I decided to start my Swedish journey by exploring a nearby city. I took the train and headed to Uppsala, which is the fourth largest city after Stockholm, Gothenburg and Malmö. It's really cold here. It's around 10 Celsius. And speaking of Celsius, did you know that Celsius was born here in Uppsala and worked as a professor at the Uppsala University? In 1742, he proposed a new temperature scale, which bears his name and we use today. But that's about the fun facts. Now I need something to eat because I'm starving. In the restaurant, which I found on Foursquare, I was debating whether I should try the reindeer steak or the real meatballs. But because I was in Sweden, I went for the meatballs. After lunch, I visited Scandinavia's largest cathedral, which was built in the late 13th century in a French Gothic style, like the Notre Dame in Paris. I also visited Gustavianum, which houses the second oldest anatomical theatre in the world, where, for example, executed criminals were dissected under the public gaze. The day came to an end, and it was time to head back to the train station. After I got back to Stockholm, I decided to go out for a fika with some other backpackers. The word fika has a totally different meaning in Hungarian and in Swedish. In Swedish it means to have coffee with friends, but in Hungarian fika means bugger. I look a bit tired, but I do not have a hangover. If you are traveling solo, couchsurfing could be a great option for you to meet new people. A sunny Monday was a perfect opportunity to discover the capital city, which is called Venice of the North, because it is situated on 14 islands connected by 57 bridges. 
I started my day on a Ugordan island, which is the home to many historical buildings, monuments, museums, and the world's first open air museum, the Skansen. I skipped the Ebbe Museum and headed to see the Vasa, the only preserved 17th century warship in the world. It took three years to build, but sank in the Stockholm harbor after sailing about 20 minutes in 1628. I felt like I'm a pirate of the Caribbean, standing next to the ship which spent 333 years underwater. After seeing a ship, I hopped on another one. I took a ferry and headed back to the old town, Gamla Stan. This part of Stockholm is one of the best preserved medieval city centers in Europe. Even though North German architecture had a huge influence in the old town's construction, you can still see the medieval alleyways. After lunch, I ended my day in the Museum of Photography, the Fotografiska. I have to be honest, I was disappointed. I thought I could learn more about the life of the famous photographers, or at least see some of their pictures. The displayed contemporary photographs were far from my taste. My flight was leaving late afternoon, so I had a few hours in Stockholm. I packed my stuff and headed back to Gamla Stan to discover the royal palace. Quack, it's raining, but anyway, the weather was good yesterday at least. Although the current monarchs moved to Drottingholm Palace, the royal palace remained the Swedish royal family's official residence. If you haven't been to the Buckingham Palace or Versailles, you should visit the castle, which was built in Baroque style and has more than 600 rooms spread over seven floors. Sadly, I couldn't see Queen Christina's silver throne in the Hall of State. I ended my trip in the dark cellar wards of the palace, the treasury, where the small collection of crowns and important jewels is held. My trip to Sweden came to an end and I headed back to the airport. I arrived safely back at home. I recommend you to stay at the Generator Hostels because it was cheap, it was in the city center, it was clean and the staff was friendly. I am a little bit sad because I miss the Stockholm Metro, which is basically a large art gallery. I love the food, but it was a little bit expensive. One food with a drink was about 250 and 300 kronos, which is 24 or 25 euros. A sandwich was about 40 kronas, around 4 euro, and the beer was about 80 kronas, around 8 euro. But the meatballs were delicious, so it deserves a 5 star. I have to say, October is not the perfect time to visit Stockholm. On the shortest day in winter, the capital city sees only around 6 hours of sunlight, but during summer it's light around 20 hours. Stockholm is beautiful and clean and perfect for a weekend vacation. It was a little bit challenging for me to find things to do or see because Stockholm is not a huge city. If I could go back, I would go during spring or summer, I would rent a car and explore the area on my own. What are your favorite places to see in Stockholm? Comment it below. If you want to see more videos, click here or there.